and welcome back to Anno 1701. Sleepy Hollow is growing. I'm going to build more houses. And also another chapel, I think. That's what we need soon. Let's have a look. That chapel is not going to reach those buildings here anymore. So let's have a chapel here. Okay. I do have 10 tons of cloth in stock now, so I'm going to release it. And as you can see, as you will see, my balance is going to rise because people pay more taxes the more demands you met. And the green area is rising now, so it's going up and I can thus increase the tax slider too. Let's have a look at my forester huts. There's a problem here. He's full, so I don't think that he has... Yeah, there is no street going to him. Oh, there is. But one market place or market house only has one carrier. So there's only one guy, the poor guy here, transporting all the goods to the market house. So for the moment, it's kind of bottlenecking ne uh, my uh, wood production, but we're going to change that soon. For now, I want to build some more buildings here. And let's have more houses over here. And of course, I don't need to... Oh, that's a special event. A smith is visiting me and producing tools. Very nice. I, I produce tools right now. Captain on the bridge. Very nice. I can also build a second village place, of course, if I want to. Expand my town more to this direction here, so I could build one like so. To build more houses on this side here, even though there's not much place left. Okay, all my requirements are met. As you can see, um, there's a green arrow now, so meaning they are ready to be to upgrade. I can do that now by clicking on this one here, and everyone would upgrade on their own. I think with 1701 I can also press the U button and they will do it themselves. Yes. So I can control now um, who's upgrading and who's not upgrading. That is the queen. She acknowledges our progress. Goal of this game is to reach independence at some point. And now I can upgrade more of them. It costs, I think, one ton of wood yeah, and one ton of tool so I can upgrade them. That's the first time this is possible. One of the opponents actually wants a trade agreement. Let's do this. In Anno 1503 and 1602, so the predecessors, um, you couldn't do that. So you only had the option of uh, releasing building materials and they would just upgrade whenever there is materials, um, which leads to being settler here, for example, but pioneers in the middle, and I don't like that. I want to control who upgrades and who doesn't. This contract should work to both of our advantages. Okay, we have now more settlers. As you can see, tobacco, alcohol and education are new demands they have that I need to fulfill. You have some new buildings at your disposal. And we have more settlers now new in our town. New buildings are available for construction.
Uh, very nice town now. Sleepy Hollow is growing. A settler's house can also house more people. I think twice as many. And they also pay more taxes, of course. So pioneers pay, for example, 200 to a maximum of 219. And the settlers already pay 400 of taxes. Quite a lot more. I have more buildings. One of them will be the clay deposit, the clay pit and the brickworks. Very important. I can build the clay works now, the clay pit and a brickworks right beside it. And connect them with a street. And they will produce clay now for me or bricks. And I will need those bricks to upgrade my market houses, this one here which then is able to house more carriers, so two instead of one. That's also good for production, so it's not bottlenecking anymore. Over 1, now and 1,000 people live in our town now. Let's have a look back here. Um, I'm still going to purchase tools and wood so far. Food is definitely going down now. Um, 21 tons of to uh, food is left. So we need more of that. Let's build more fisher huts over here. But fish won't, uh, won't be enough anymore. Supply of goods is running low. It's not producing much. So what we want to do is we build uh, cattle farms and butcher's shops. The, they produce much more food that we need. Another very important thing that we have to think about now is expanding to other islands and I'm going to do that. I want another island for production and we do have for example this one here but there are two opponents already on it. This one here is settled, this one here is settled so all we have left are the southern islands. Let's take this one here. There is no one on it at the moment and I settle this island before someone else does. There's tobacco on it and we need tobacco. But in general, Anno 1701 cities are much smaller than those of 1503 because the islands are much smaller too. This is one of the largest islands you can reach in Anno 1701. I want to have a second brick production. There is another clay deposit here. Let's build a market house here and a clay pit and brickworks. One thing I don't know yet is if there are two brickworks able to work in one pit. Let's try it out. And I think it's possible, yes. So we can have two brickworks. I can see that because there's one here going for the pit immediately, so he's not even waiting. That means two can work in one pit at once. Okay, let's have a street here. I'm just waiting for my ship now to reach this island. One of your opponents has settled on an island. Okay, that is another one. Lucky me. Even though not really lucky because there are not many islands left. There is one left here, a very small one, which has hops on it where I can grow, um, where I can produce alcohol, even though it's not much. I still would need an island like this. Okay, this ship here is now reaching my new island and let's build a warehouse here. And now we're on this island, but it's our second island, so the opponents will try to settle here still. So I need to expand my area and they can't build 
in with, uh, into my area. So this is a way of securing the island. Very nice. Captain on the bridge. Okay. I take the the rest of my resources and go and I'm going to settle on this Make island way. here too. Or should I go for this one here? It's bigger and has sugar cane on it. Sugar cane um, means alcohol too. So let's go for this one here. It even has two gold deposits. Very nice. One thing you can see is that my the deposits are shown immediately. So I don't have to explore the island anymore. In 1503 you had to send a scout to the island, to the mountains, to see what it holds. You don't have to do that anymore. Okay, we have two clay production. There's no more clay here. Yes, there is one more. And we're also going to build a market house here. Even though, wait, I don't need to do that anymore. What I want though is my own tool production. I do have the buildings available. So that's what we are going to do. But before we do that, let's Captain settle on, on this island here too. Very nice. Let's have a look if we can build one more market house. We can't. Awaiting orders. We like wood. But that is so fine. Make way. Let's send the ship back. And we want to have a tool production. Let's have a look where we have some iron. We have coal here. We have marble here. Another coal deposit. We should have three iron deposits here. Or deposits. Let's see. This looks like coal to me though. But I think it actually is iron. Your warehouse is or a real gold mine. Because there's nothing else. Yeah, I think that symbol actually symbolizes ore and not coal. Even though it looks like coal to me. Okay, doesn't matter for now. We can we can try that with one simple thing. Yeah, because the iron mine, the ore mine is possible here. So let's do this. Let's build a market house. Let's build an iron mine, ore mine. And we have the ore smelting plant. Right beside it. I take my hat off to you. Like so. Your warehouse is very well appointed. It needs wood and ore. So it takes the ore from the iron mine and One the wood from my warehouse. And the ratio here is one smelter and two toolsmiths. I just know that from experience, so don't worry. And we have two toolsmiths. They take now the raw iron that he's producing and produce tools out of it. That means that I don't, no longer need to purchase tools, which is quite expensive. And I don't need to purchase wood either. And look at that, we have a new assignment. Res rescue the castaways. My nephew was coming to visit me, but his ship sank in a storm. Well, let's do this. Let's rescue them. Let's see where, where they are. I can see that by hovering over the trade assignment and on the map I can see a red circle Bye. down here. And there they are. The survivor of the catastrophe, his nephew. Okay, let's have a look at my town. The ship is on its way now, rescuing him, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, we do have our own tool production now. And right, we need to go for the food now. We have only four tons of food left. Let's build cattle farms. Let's build four of them. Four cattle farms and two butcher, f uh, butcher shops. 
they produce a lot of food. And I'm also going to build more fisher huts. But I don't think that's possible. Only up here there are two more fish deposits. Okay. And now let's hope that he's producing enough food for my town to survive. I've got three tons of food left. Where's my ship? My ship already got the castaway. And I have to bring it back now to the trader's outpost. As you come off. And there's a fire in Sleepy Hollow. There it is. A fire. I don't have a fire station yet, but I, in, in this game you can't just simply destroy the building anymore. Okay, so I think they're taking... Yeah, they're taking water themselves, the citizens. As you can see, it spreads to other buildings surrounding it, but not over the street. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose those buildings. They're trying to extinguish it, but without success so far. How can I counter that with a fire station? I can't be... I can't build it yet, it has to be researched in the school. Now we lost that building. There's still one more. The problem is it's too far away from my village center where the water is. Just so I'm time. losing them. Let's conclude the assignment. Okay, the assignment is complete. Job well done. While I'm here, let's take some more tools with me. It's a deal. Maybe I shall place an order with you too. The trader said you've been a real help to him. Okay, I've lost both buildings, but it doesn't matter, it's just pioneer buildings, so I can simply rebuild them. It would be bad if it were settler buildings or even higher, because you can't just rebuild a settler house. You have to start by zero again. That would be bad. At the moment it doesn't matter much. Okay, food supply is up again, 16 tons and growing. So that was sufficient for our food production. What we have to do now is we have to build a school. First people want it and second I need to research. So let's build a school. And to build a school in the middle, I need to delete some buildings again. I'm going to delete those two and build a school instead. Very nice. That is a school. And it opens up research now. Let's have a look at the research menu. And the first thing we can research is the fire station. So it needs 450 knowledge and 200 gold coins. We have enough gold coins, but we don't have enough knowledge yet. Or do we? We do have enough knowledge. I don't know how it counts. Anyways, we can build now a fire station soon. And I'm also going to expand my city. This looks a bit small to me at the moment. So let's build another village center up here. And I also need another market house. Whoops, that was not correct.
new building has been researched. Very nice, the fire station is now available. Let's see how much space it takes. Quite a lot. Two buildings. So I need to delete two buildings here. Whoops, let's take let's delete them. To build a fire station right here into the middle. So all my houses are within its area. Okay, let's build more houses here. And my city is growing. That's over. I can build more houses here. And I will need to relocate this market house here. In order to build more houses here. So I can delete the streets. Very nice. Looking good so far. Another Bye. thing. My tools are back now that I got from the assignment. So I have more tools. I'm lacking a bit of wood, but that's okay. I can upgrade my warehouse now with pressing the U button too. And you'll see a second carrier soon. And there he is. And let's also build another forest hut here. An itinerant preacher is collecting money for your city coffers. Okay, that means there's a preacher now in my village center. Increasing my balance by a few coins per minute. I like these events, they are new. Um, my people want tobacco and alcohol. I do have two islands in the south, one with tobacco and one with sugar cane, so I can start producing them. Let's start with tobacco. Let's have a look. My tobacco plantation. So I need a tobacco plantation, two of them, for a tobacco processing manufactory. And it costs me wood, bricks and tools. And I need quite a lot of that, so let's take... Bricks and tools to my southern island, Beaverbrook. And I will have to have a second turn with my ship for wood. But I'll do that later. Let's see, I have enough wood, so I can increase my population by just a bit. I'm going to upgrade this warehouse too. Um, yeah, I have enough cloth and food, even though cloth is indifferent now. So I will need to build more sheep farms. Let's build one, two, three and four and two weaver huts My ship is now down here. No, it's not yet. 
I thought it was. Where is it? There it is. It's kind of difficult to see because it has a blue icon on it and the map is blue itself too. But what I want to build soon is a shipyard. I can build it. Let's build a shipyard here. And a shipyard will need ropes, I think. So wood and cloth. Oh, it doesn't need uh, ropes. There is nothing like that anymore. Nope. So in 1503 you needed ropes to build. Um, we don't need that. We only need wood and cloth to build more trading vessels. That is okay. It's a bit easier. And saves space too, so I don't need a rope production on this island. There's still an island for the taking here, but that's it then. Incredible. There are not many islands here. I can take this one. I found something else. Very nice. He sold me some wood. A purchase offer that I, I just created because I, I saw that he was coming for it. Awaiting orders. Okay, let's get brick and tools over here. I think I've already built some warehouses, yep. And we can start with a tobacco production. So let's build hmm, four. Let's build six of them, which is not possible. Damn it, I don't have enough wood. Oh, he just sold me wood again. Very nice. Let's build the sixth tobacco plantation here. So I've got six tobacco plantations now. They're growing tobacco now. As you can see, the, the fields are still growing. And we are going to finish our tobacco uh, production in the next episode. Stay tuned.